Hello everyone, I am Chesswork44 and welcome to this let's play of Geneforge. We've done it people. We've gone through the entire island. Fought through Shalai, rogues, evil serviles, drakes, and more creations. And we are finally here. We have finally reached the Geneforge, the namesake of the game and the saga. The simple device that will turn a single person into an ideal being. And Trajkov is by it. So come, let us finally see the Gene Forge. This is the main presentation hall of the research complex. This is the where the most valuable, most exciting creations and inventions were kept and showed. This is not a ruin. This area is still very active. You can hear the humming of crystals and power spirals and the growls of creations. There is a hint of ozone in the air. This is the center. Whatever Susia Island's true purpose was, it is here. Yep, the presentation halls. We'll explore around the outside first, and then we will go into the halls themselves. Wow. There are a lot of canister remains there. Another entrance to the halls. Doesn't appear to be much here. Just a large ring around the center. More canister remains. Even more... Yeah, there are nothing but canister remains here. Even more. Hold on. Presentation halls. Yeah, that's the... That's the exit from the cells. Down here, just another passage. More canister remains. Yeah, there were a lot of canisters that were brought here. Okay, so there was absolutely nothing around the outside. There is nothing but the Gene Forge and Trashkov. And whatever else we may find. You step into the main presentation hall. It's a huge stone hall with a high arched roof. The most significant and impressive developments were given their first viewing here. Even centuries later, the air crackles with magic. In the center of the room stands a lone figure. He's not a large man. He has visible no muscles, but he is nothing like the charged, augmented behemoths you've seen elsewhere. His eyes are calm, not arrogant or deranged. This must, at last, be Trashkov. Leader of the Sholai, who have invaded your lands and stolen your secrets. He makes no move to attack you. He simply waves you forward. He wishes to parlay with you. He seems unafraid of an attack. Considering the size of the massive fierce creations which stand around the perimeter of the room, you can see why. And there he is. Well, let's see what these creations are around the room. Battle Gammas, of course. No, only makes sense it would be Battle Gammas. Oh, and Cryo Drakes, too. Does this say? Gene Forge. So the Gene Forge is actually in there. Well, I don't think we'll go in there until after we've spoken with Trashkov. And over here is. I don't know. We'll probably find out later. Again, after we speak with Trashkov. That's, that's the entirety of the room. Various battle gammas and the like. Alright. Hello, Trashkov. When you get a close look at Trashkov, you can see that the augmentation and ca changes he has received have improved him, but not controlled him. He is calm. He glows with immense power, all of it at his immediate control. I am Trashkov Shaper. I brought you to this island. I want you to help me. When you hear what I have to say, I believe you will help me. Everything you have done to hurt or help my cause is now forgotten or forgiven. Now, at last, we may begin on the path to power and justice. If you will help. Will you hear my story? I would like to hear your story. There is not much to say, actually. 
We show lie are a people of traders, explorers. We sail the seas and find new lands. We were an expedition to cross the Great Sea, to find out if there was anyone here. Harsh weather made us land on this island, and it was here we learned of you, and of your secrets. And then you learned as many of their secrets as you could. Who would not? I could not, despite my efforts, learn your tongue, but others did. And they read your books and learned of you, and they learned how jealous you are. They learned that your secrets are not to be shared with anyone. But you are a shaper, you cannot understand how much a poor outsider can want what you have. You take for granted. So I learned, and we explored, and we came to the Gene Forge. You want to use the Gene Forge, yes? Yes. Yes, I do. I will get to my reason soon. First, this story. Excuse me. We could not understand your instructions. We could not understand how to use the Gene Forge. So, I had a plan. I had a Shaper brought here. I confess, we kidnapped the Shaper. His name was Goetch. We brought him here. He gave me some information and learned some himself. And he betrayed me and fled. But I still did not know all I needed to know. I needed a new Shaper. Me. Yes. I need your help if I am to use the Gene Forge. You must be asking yourself though, why would I help this outsider become so powerful? I have reasons. Will you hear me out? I would like to hear your arguments. First, I will appeal to your moral side. You have wandered this island. You have met the Serviles. You have seen the things your people have done. I hope you have seen your people with fresh eyes. Your people do horrible things, and you have done them for so long that you have come to see them as normal. What are these supposed horrible things we do? Wander this island. See how you have treated to treat the living, to treat the living things you make. You make living things capable of thought, reason, pain. And you make them your slaves, destroying them when they displease you. The other shall lie. They only care about wealth and power your secrets give them. But I see the disease beyond. I am moved by the plight of the serviles and of your creations. I want to end their torment. That is what the power of the Gene Forge will give me. I should also say what it will give you. What is in it for me? Power. If you help me, I will make you my second in command. I will give you great wealth and power in return for your helping me to get justice. You will help me remake the world. And in return, I will give you more than your precious shepherds will ever give you. What do you mean by that? Look around you! This island is barred. Yes, I know that much about your people. This is forbidden land. Everything you have seen, secret. And those secrets taint you. Kill me if you want. Destroy the Gene Forge if you want. When you return home, you will know too much to be safe. The Shapers will want the secrets you buried. They will bury you with them. That is my argument. That is my cause. I wish your help. What do you think? Let's try and trick him. I think that you speak sense. I agree. I will help you. Alright. The first thing I would require from you is your assistance. He points to the book next to him. That book, I believe, contains instructions to use the Gene Forge. Read it and tell me what I need to do. But beware, if I ever suspect you are trying to trick me, betray me, or slay me, I will destroy you. I will not make the mistake I made with Goetch again. Alright then. You flip through the book. It was left behind by the Shaper researchers here. It's a collection of notes, equations, schematics, and instructions, all related to the Gene Forge. You skim through the tome. Most of the details are irrelevant or too esoteric for you to understand. 
Finally, near the end, you find a reasonably concise and helpful entry. It is unsure whether we will ever allow one to adopt the mantle of greater being and become and welcome the changes that the Gene Forge will make. Who has the courage to allow themselves to be rewritten, remade? Should one ever accept the challenge and the danger, they must don the gloves. There are two pairs, though one of them was damaged in an earlier experiment, and might not be repairable. Dawning the gloves, the Chosen shall caress the surface of the pool lightly, slowly, letting it work its magic a tiny bit at a time. Speed will be lethal. The body will adjust. Do not, whatever you do, put your hands far into the pool. Then, when the Chosen is rewritten, the pool may do no more. The changing will be done, and no more changing can have any effect. The user may swim in the pool safely. Such will be the power. I have read the book. You will need you need to wear the special gloves and run your fingers across the surface of the Gene Forge carefully. Excellent! That verifies what Goich told me earlier. That was a test. I see now that you might possibly be trusted. This is what I need from you. This is truly what is required. The book describes the gloves I need to use the Gene Forge. Goich stole them from me and fled to the wastes at the northwest corner of the island. Go there. Find Goetch, kill him, recover the gloves, and it will be a victory for you, for me, and for justice. Here is an amulet. It is a gift from Nora, leader of the Takers. Wear it, and it will mark you to my people as a friend. They will let you pass safely. Hmm. Tell me about Goetch. He is one of your kind. He seemed like he was experienced and powerful. I still believe that this is the case. When he failed us, he, we decided to abduct you, since you seemed weak and untrained. Oh gee, thanks. Goet told me many wise things. He was friendly. He seemed to sympathize with my goals. He made me trust him. And he betrayed me. I believe he wants to use the gene for, for himself. Now, we are in a stalemate. He can't hurt me, I can't hurt him. I am counting on you to break the deadlock. Tell me about your soldiers here. <sighs> I have been very alone. I have had to struggle mightily to steer my course. Some of us were small-minded. They refused to see the horrible crimes of your people, longing instead for mere trade and contact with you. They fought to leave this island alone. Others want only power. They use all of the canisters they can, without concern for justice or other goals. They are useful to me in their ways, though I feel we must find a way to make more canisters soon. What will happen if you don't get more canisters? I fear that my warriors and mages are... <laughs> Well, I should not use the word addicted. It is not an addiction of the body, like for alcohol or tobacco. They will not fall ill if they get no more canisters. No, it is an addiction of the mind. It is the, the desire for power, for more power. That is what my people have. And if they stop getting more power, I am concerned about how they will react. Can you give me assistance? Supplies, canisters. Everything we have, we need. My people demand all of the canisters and powerful equipment for themselves. You have the whole rest of the island to draw from. I would like to help you, but politics intervene. I cannot. 